Imagine if I could know you better than you know yourself within the first few seconds of meeting you. I can predict your actions and behaviors. I can know how to interact with you. I know what your strengths and weaknesses are. All of this without you telling me anything about yourself. There are many ways to know what your personality type is. The most popular one is Myers-Briggs and it's used by major corporations to understand their potential employees. The CIA also uses their own unique temperament typology. It's uh, four animals. There's the cheetah. The cheetah takes action, so they're ready to go without, without a plan. They're, they're ready to take action. The lion likes to plan things ahead. They, they organize. There's the fox that is very creative and will come up with several ideas. And then there's the bear. The bear likes to prioritize their relationships. So they will go with the flow with whatever idea someone else creates because they want to maintain that relationship. And they also use Myers-Briggs to create a dossier around their, their targets. <clears throat> so you can see why personality types are important and how they can help us really understand individuals based on other individuals that we already know um, that are of the same personality type. Understanding what your type is will allow you to understand who you are and allow you to focus on the parts of your life where you need some growth uh, with your weaknesses. Um, it'll also show you what your strengths are and how you can use those strengths. It will help you understand people of diverse personalities and help you in those relationships with those personalities in your professional life and your personal life. If you work in a team, it'll help you understand the personalities amongst your team and what other personalities you would need in order to have a high performance team so that you have all the strengths of all the diversities combined to have the most, the, the greatest chance for success. And because you'll have a greater understanding of what your strengths and weaknesses are, you'll also know what fields you can go into, what careers you can follow based on the, those strengths so that you're, you're not working with weaknesses Although you will want to work on your weaknesses, but that'll be, that'll be part of your work, part of your, your challenge to, to improve on those weaknesses so you are more well-rounded. You'll also get to know what fields others have gone into that are of your personality so that you know what paths you can pursue. If you're feeling lost, then it'll give you an idea of other areas that you can you can also pursue whether you're an entrepreneur or you're career oriented knowing what your personality type will help you figure out whether you're on the right path because maybe you're a certain personality type and you're surrounded by people of a different type and you feel you feel lost you feel like a fish out of water and everyone else is having high success because they're they're a bird flying high and you're just out of your element. There are many options for every personality and if you are feeling lost, it's likely that you're, you haven't been pursuing a path that aligns with what your personality is. For so many years, that was the case for me. I was feeling lost. I studied chemical engineering at MIT and I just didn't feel like I fit in a lot of the time. I wasn't like the other, the other students. I didn't have ambitions to continue on to grad school. I didn't want to work at a huge corporation, work long hours for salary only to make someone else rich. And even though there were people like me, I didn't feel comfortable in myself to, to be able to connect with them. And so I, because I was not comfortable in who I was, I had these walls that I set up so that people wouldn't really know who I was because I wasn't comfortable in who I was. And then I discovered the power of self-awareness and how 
we can all have a distorted self-concept. I realized that my self-concept was very distorted. I thought I had set up these walls and they protected me and it allowed people to see me only in the way that I wanted them to see me. But in reality, everyone saw me very differently. And I focused so much on maintaining these walls that people weren't really seeing me for who I was. And we can all, we all can struggle. And I think we all do struggle with a distorted self-concept in, in some way, um, some more intensely than others. And that's, that's part of our work in this life to, to become self-aware, recognize our flaws and be better people for, for ourselves and for those around us. And when I discovered the power of self-awareness and how my self-concept was distorted, I felt free, like I, I could finally see things more how they were rather than how I perceived them. And this allowed me to, to recognize what my flaws were. And I recognized what my unique gifts are. And just like everyone else, we all have our own unique gifts. And with these unique gifts, I understood that the path for me was in entrepreneurship and I wanted to pave my own way and I wanted to figure out a way to provide value in my own way rather than, than working for someone else. Although th that's not to say that there's there's anything wrong with, with working for other people. You know, there's a lot of valuable skills that you can only gain from working in, in environments that make you uncomfortable and make, make you unhappy. And once you, once you acquire the skills that you need in order to to change your environment and pursue uh, something that aligns more with your goals, then then you can move on from from those situations. There's definitely no no reason to to stay unhappy, especially if you don't have really good reasons for it. If it's financial reasons, uh, then that's probably not good enough because we all know that money doesn't make you happy. So if that's your only reason for, for staying in an unhappy environment, then, then you need to change it. But if it's if you know and you recognize that you're developing skills that allow that are allowing you to, to grow, then stay in there, hang in there until until you can find something that aligns more with who you are. It's very easy to recognize the things that other people are doing wrong and what changes they need to make in order for them to accomplish the, the life that they want. But it's so much harder to recognize the things that we're doing wrong and the changes that we need to make in order to become the best versions of ourselves. And once you know what your innate qualities are, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, then you can stop playing this game of life with your bench players, you know, your weaknesses, and you can unleash your full potential with your star players, you, your strengths. My hope is that this channel will help you develop a mindset that illuminates your path towards greatness and you can see your future with unwavering clarity. So if you want to become the hero of your own movie and choose where your life goes, improve your relationships, improve your health, and follow a path that aligns with your personality that's more fulfilling, then subscribe to this channel and I will show you how.